Hello, I'm Bill Lindman. Most of you know me. I'm the laser guy and the person that has developed the research and application for frequency-specific low-level laser therapy. In the last 20 years, we've been able to direct um, laser therapy, frequency-specific low-level laser therapy to canines, for instance, that are scent dogs, that are bomb dogs, that are cadaver dogs, etc., etc., and then lose their scent, essentially. And we use a protocol for tastelessness and lack of smell for that therapy. And recently, because of the upper respiratory viruses such as COVID, there have been a number of people that have got chronic lack of taste and smell. I noticed about eight months ago that I couldn't smell my wife's perfume anymore and asked her why she wasn't wearing perfume. And she said, I've been wearing perfume every day, you fool. And realized that not only I couldn't smell, I couldn't taste, and virtually all the smells that I could smell were like hydrogen sulfide. This is a chronic uh, resolution, I'm sorry, a chronic side effect of severe viral infections, essentially, which attacks either the nerves through an autoimmune phenomenon or the actual taste buds and olfactory cells that, that actually sense smell. <clears throat> so it was our suggestion that we were able to try to apply this technique for the, that particular 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 problem. It can be really frustrating when all you can smell is hydrogen sulfide. And actually I had the local uh, utility group, the gas people come over and check my house over because I was smelling hydrogen sulfide throughout my house thinking there was a gas leak and they couldn't find anything and then I realized it was actually a side effect, chronic side effect, an autoimmune side effect associated with upper respiratory tract infections and in this case it was COVID virus infection. <coughs> This particular therapy does not kill the virus. It is not used to do anything but treat the clinical symptomology, or at least to reduce clinical symptomology associated with this condition. The therapy, however, we use, we use the new laser therapy, and we use the uh, protocol for taste, uh, under T for taste, um, essentially lack of. Taste and smell are linked in the brain, in the upper brain, essentially, in the midbrain, and that's why, of course, when you smell bacon in the morning that you get hungry. When you lack taste, and smell. When you lack smell, you're not hungry anymore. It's a good way to lose weight, but I'm not recommending it. My point is, is that um, you don't want to have that, and so it'd be nice to have everything smell normally instead of smell like hydrogen sulfide. So what we're able to do is we're able to utilize this instrument, which is the uh, 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 Avant Laser LZ30-Z with my protocols in it. You can get this laser from other sources, but it doesn't have these protocols in it, which makes it just kind of an expensive laser pointer. And you hold down the button until it makes noise, makes noise, and then you put in the passcode, which is the same for all these things. And then what you do is you'll navigate through it to the T's, and this one says taste lack of. And so you hit the button, and it tells you to put your glasses on, which I won't because I'm going to use it at a lower uh, frequency level. I'm using it at 260 milliwatts, or about 25%. And the therapy uh, for the canine would be like this. The ethmoid terminates. And then back to the to these hypoglossal nerves. Taste come or smell comes off of cranial nerve one, the olfactory nerve, and also taste off of cranial nerve twelve, which is the uh, hypoglossal nerve essentially. And then this particular involves the, the taste sensors on the tongue and also the smell sensors in the nasopharyngeal area. And that's how we treat the dog for sixty seconds. For the human being, apologize for this. This is how we treat the human being for sixty seconds. I'm here to tell you that. What occurred you know, in that type of therapy is within two, two laserings, within one day, I got, the ta got my smell back and my taste back, which uh, was worthwhile. And then we continue to do it for another week or so, and it appears to be a solution for this particular type of problem. Again, we use taste lack of as a protocol with this particular laser, and we also use autoimmune protocol because this is apparently a combination or a culmination of autoimmune phenomenon. Most people don't lose their taste completely or continually or for a chronic situation because they don't get the autoimmune phenomenon of the secondary and tertiary forms of these viral upper respiratory tract infections. I did. A lot of people did and they're, con they're realizing now that they have com almost permanently lost taste and smell or at least severely compromised essentially. So this is what we used to take care of that problem. This and about uh, 1800 other different uh, uh, applications to optimize the body's ability to heal. This device does not heal but optimizes the body to be able to uh, resolve its own problem. Thank you very much for listening and have a super day.